Hello and welcome to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from the beautiful country of Switzerland. I am your host, Stacy. Welcome back to our listeners. I hope you are all healthy and well and ready to almost say hello to 2021. In the previous podcast episode titled Pause and Reflect, we chatted about learning from situations and learning from circumstances. When 2020 started, I am sure that we all had great expectations and we made many plans. How many of those plans have been fulfilled? I'm sure that for many of us, we were forced to adapt and adjust our expectations due to the massive pandemic crisis that COVID-19 caused this year. But nevertheless, I have personally learned many lessons in 2020. And in today's podcast episode, I would like to share that with you. In the midst of the excitement and the preparation going into 2020, we all had our goals, our desires, and perhaps the timing of the pandemic also added to the lack of attention people paid to it all over the world because it was almost holiday season at the time and we were all focused on our own busy lives. But now we are finally more or less on the same page and before we step into the new year, I think it's very important to reflect on the lessons we have learned through this difficult year and apply it moving into the new year. One of the first lessons that comes to mind can be summarized in a hymn titled, Make No Plans Without the Lord. Now, from this title, some can interpret it as, okay, before you make any plans, first pray about it or first take it to the Lord. I definitely think that that is a part of it. But today, I want to go one step further and say that God already has his plan for us. We simply have to walk through our journey. Of course, we make our own decisions and our own plans on this journey. And sometimes our decisions can lead to obstacles or challenges in our lives. Now, don't forget these challenges also come from God. And when we are in these situations, we should always remember God is with us. He has a plan for us and through faith, he will guide us through it. The proof of this lies in all the hardships that we had to go through in our life. I can think of so many hard times when I thought, I, I wish the circumstances would just disappear. But after time, I realized that if it were not for those circumstances, other blessings in our lives would probably not have happened. So let's look at this in regard to 2020. Think for a moment of the blessings we have experienced this year. I know it's hard, but try and think of some. Maybe um, spending time with loved ones, appreciating family and friends more, changing our course of careers, embarking on further qualifications because we lost our jobs. I'm sure that despite the difficulties this year, we still have many blessings to count. So before we step into this new year, Count your blessings and name them one by one. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from Switzerland. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. Another lesson that I have certainly learned was patience. In general, I am an extremely impatient person. I think you can tell by the speed of my speech. It's been a problem not only in my native language of English, but in all of the languages that I speak. And I sometimes need to really tell myself to calm down, to really take it slower, because I am simply always in a rush with everything in my life. I think I was born that way, but if I wasn't, I can probably blame my father for that one. But I always considered having patience a complete waste of time. After all, I basically grew up in China. And for those of our listeners that have been to or lived in China, I'm sure you can agree 
It's incredible how fast things change and develop in China. There's no time to sleep. You've got to keep moving, keep learning, keep growing to stay in the game. And perhaps because of this constant rush, I didn't really see the importance of being patient. But through this year, I've learned that rushing things and constantly pushing for perfection and success will almost always take its toll on some aspect of our lives, whether it's our health or our relationships and so on. So 2020 taught me that if I apply a little bit of patience in my life, that will only make things better. Which brings me to the next lesson I have learned this year, and that is to take time for ourselves. Before, I believed that this was a simple luxury. Who has the time to simply just use for ourselves? Between jobs, your career, family, and just life, it's very difficult to take an hour to meditate. Take 30 minutes to simply focus on something we want to do for ourselves. I hope that you, our listeners, took time for yourselves this year. And if you didn't, then please do it in 2021. We need to take care of ourselves before we can properly help others. You are listening to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from Switzerland. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. I'm sure that in 2020, we learned a lot and maybe all the lessons we learned can be put under one blanket and that can be called what really matters. In this year, so many of us experienced loss in the form of losing loved ones, losing employment, losing stability as well. And I'm sure we can all agree that this shook us. And we were once again reminded of what really and truly matters in life. Let's never forget this lesson. Each and every day when we deal with trivial things and small-minded people, just remember, you made it through 2020 and there's nowhere left to go but onwards and upward. I want to also mention all the angels that have surfaced through this year. The young people delivering groceries to the elderly, the health workers, the neighbors looking out for each other, the teachers continuing to teach kids online, the friend that reached out every now and again just to check, are you still okay, my friend? Yes, we have seen much devastation through this year, but in my young life so far, I have never experienced such beautiful outreach. Let us appreciate these angels in our lives and not wait to say thank you in 10 years time, but to say thank you today already. Yes, we have all gone through tremendous changes in our lives this year. And sometimes when we have a set intention or plan or desire, and because of circumstances beyond our control, we suddenly find ourselves having to think on our feet, figure out what's going to be our next move. This can be frustrating, but the lesson we can learn here is to embrace the change, face it head on and learn to be flexible because of this. A small example I can share is the new way we attend divine services. In the beginning, there was a lot of change and many of us were not so satisfied with this. But as many of you know, we have been living in, a, in China, a communist country for about 20 years now. And because we are not allowed to worship God freely and openly, we have had to adjust many a time. In fact, I was there when the first ever divine service was transmitted from South Africa to China via Skype about 14 years ago now. We had to embrace the circumstances in our environment and be flexible and adjust accordingly. And today, because of this pandemic, children of God all over the world have access to God's word via the internet. Isn't this amazing? How many of our members that were once inactive have rejoined these online divine services and found new hope because of it? Oh, what a beautiful change. 
are listening to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from Switzerland. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. So, dear listeners, we have learned many lessons this year, and my hope is that we won't forget them, that we won't go back to our old lives and our old routines. A few friends uh, started sending me some early New Year's wishes, and uh, a constant line or, or theme in these wishes are always, hopefully things return to normal in 2021. And I must apologize, I'm sorry, but I don't hope that things return to normal. I don't hope that things go back to normal, but I hope that we invent a new normal moving forward. This year has brought many changes. Many people have stood up for their rights, for equality and for fairness. We've seen change in the environment. Some animals that we, some fish that were once thought extinct because of the lockdown, new species of fish have now reappeared. New animals have come out of the woods that we didn't know existed before because we are not on the streets anymore. We are not outside as much anymore. So many new things have happened and occurred because of the lockdown, because of this crisis. And I don't want to go back to how things used to be before. Yes, I would love to travel. I would love to not wear a mask all the time. I would love to not have this constant fear when 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 you see people outside of the distance and the meter and the measuring of course i don't want any of those things to continue but let us not take away from the good things that have also resurfaced in 2020 and going back is not going to help us. I hope this continues. We need to build the world we want to live in. Let us move forward into this new year. Let us not waste a second of our time on negativity or things of the past, but let us step forward with a clearer mind, a stronger faith, and a deeper love for ourselves and for each other. That concludes this podcast, the last episode for 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Nakik World Podcast platform. Our email address is podcast at nacinchina.com. Nakik World Podcast is broadcasted twice weekly, every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Beijing time. The Nakik team wishes you all a blessed new year. Stay safe. Tune in next time. See you next year.